bought a new Sonos speaker or just changed your Wi-Fi password, no stress. In this video, I'll walk you through how to reconnect your Sonos speakers to Wi-Fi, whether it's your first time setting them up or you're reconnecting after a Wi-Fi change. Let's get those tunes back in action with a simple step-by-step -step guide. Let's dive right in. First, make sure your Sonos speaker with an Ethernet port and your new router are both powered on. Grab your Ethernet cable. This part's easy. Connect your Sonos speaker to the router using the cable. This automatically kicks off the SonosNet network, a special Wi-Fi network that helps your Sonos system connect more reliably. Now that the speaker is connected, turn on the rest of your Sonos devices. They should connect automatically to the SonosNet network. You can double check this in the Sonos app under the rooms list. All devices that are on and connected should show up there. If any device doesn't appear, try restarting it just not the one that's connected via Ethernet. This little trick often solves the problem. One thing to remember, portable Sonos speakers like the Sonos Roam or Mover can't use SonosNet, so they'll need to connect through the regular wireless setup. If you're using the standard setup where speakers connect directly to your Wi-Fi, here's what to do. After changing your Wi-Fi network, connect one of your Sonos devices, like a Play One, to your router with an Ethernet cable. This ensures the device shows up in the Sonos app. Open the app, go to Settings, System, Network, Networks and select Update Networks. Follow the steps in the app to enter your new Wi-Fi details. Once your device has the new Wi-Fi settings, disconnect the Ethernet cable. Your speaker should now automatically connect wirelessly. If you're using a Sonos Boost setup, which connects directly to your router, reconnecting after a network change is a breeze. Start by plugging the Boost into the new router with an Ethernet cable. This will restore your dedicated Sonos network. Now, if any of your other Sonos devices aren't connecting after the network switch, simply power them off and back on. Unplug them for a few seconds and plug them back in. After they reboot, check for a solid white light on each device. That means they're back on the Boost's network, and you should see them working flawlessly in the app with the new network settings. Setting up your Sonos speaker wirelessly is easy. First, make sure your Sonos device is compatible with your Wi-Fi. Then download the Sonos app from the Apple App Store or Google Play Store. Ensure your phone is connected to the same Wi-Fi network you want to use with your Sonos speaker. Plug in your Sonos speaker and wait for the indicator light to show it's ready. Open the Sonos app. If it's your first time connecting to this Wi-Fi, you might see a message like, unable to connect to Sonos. Don't worry, just follow the prompt to start the setup. In the app, go to settings and look for a notification about network issues. Tap the option to update your network settings. Ensure all your Sonos devices are powered on, then tap Find System to let the app search for your devices. Once the app lists nearby devices, choose the one that's closest to your router for the best connection. Wait for the app to connect to the device. You'll hear a chime from the speaker, and its LED will flash white and green, indicating it's ready for the next step. On the chosen speaker, press the Join button. On newer models, this might be marked with an infinity symbol, but on older models, it could be the play, pause, or mute button. When prompted by the app, enter your Wi-Fi network's password and wait for the connection to establish. Once connected, the app will confirm that your Sonos devices now recognize your Wi-Fi network as trusted. Tap done to finish the setup. Your speaker will sync with the other Sonos devices in your home, transferring them to the new Wi-Fi network. If any devices don't connect automatically, just restart them and they should sync up with the new network. For older Sonos devices, you can use the S1 app to connect them. If you see a notification that says, unable to connect to Sonos, tap it, select change router or Wi-Fi settings, and follow the steps, including entering your Wi-Fi password. This will ensure your older Sonos models stay seamlessly integrated with your audio setup. And that's it. You're all set to connect your Sonos speakers to Wi-Fi, whether it's your first time or you've just switched networks. I hope this guide was helpful. If it was, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more tech tips that make your life easier. Got any questions or other advice? Drop them in the comments below and I'll be happy to help. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.